though. I am I am actually fast yeah. played here. So yeah. the Viking Army from seven ninety to eight forty nine is the earlier one. My aggression is four. Okay, so um you know what? I know this is gonna sound ridiculous, but I don't think I brought any dice here. Oh, uh, all I need is one die. I think that one. Right. Ooh, ah. Hey, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right. So, all right. So the first thing we need to do is now we know which armies we have. We know what our aggression factors are. Our aggression four, your aggression zero. So most likely I'm going to be the one attacking. But we roll one die piece. Okay, I have a two plus four is a six. Is it beats a two? So you are the defending player. And let's see what you have. You are going to be arable. And so your terrain type is going to allow you the, these the following options. Okay, for arable, you can select one built-up area for two plows. And now your built-up area can be a city, a fort or castle, a hamlet or a township, which is uh, you know like a small uh, inhabited area of scattered group houses. I just happen so happen to have one. To have a castle. All right, so we're going to use a medieval castle for the Gaulish fort. All right, so you have that. Uh, all right, so that's your build-up area. Now, your optional features are uh, river, difficult hills, gentle hills, woods, um, extra plow. Okay, the plow is going to be plow fields, kind of like something along the lines of this thing right here. Uh, basically, they can be basically smooth terrain unless the first pip die roll is a one. And in that case... This counts as muddy, or it's it's going to be rough going. Okay, so it's kind of a uh, variable terrain piece. Um, we can have enclosed fields, uh, which would be difficult going. Uh, you can have roads, um, a waterway, which would be along the side of the the, the battlefield, but I don't have one of those. Uh, scrub or boggy areas. So you can have. All right, so you've got your built-up area. That's one, and then you can pick two to three of the optional features. Okay, no more than two of which can be the same type. So do uh, you want to take a look at under arable and look at what the what your options are there? I think a boggy. You want boggy terrain? Yeah. Okay, and then um, what else do you, you would you like to pick? Does it I pick? You pick? Or no, you pick. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the fort. Uh, well, you've it's already got the fort. You got yeah. Um, Scrub and hill. Uh, okay, well, I don't think uh, scrub is on there, is there? Um, oh, it is, yeah. So, so scrub, boggy, and the hill, right? If you and, have scrub, we can just use trees. Yeah. Um, well, do you want, uh, so which which hill would you like? That one's fine. This one? Okay. So that one will be a hill. Is it going to be a gentle hill or a difficult hill? Uh, it's difficult. Difficult hill? All right. So we're going to make that a difficult okay. hill. All right, so that's, um, and then scrub and a bog. Actually, um, yeah, I guess we can make, we can put some some trees on this for the scrub. Okay. Uh, I don't know where my normal terrain templates went, yeah, that's okay. but uh, this will have to do. All right, and then uh, the other one was going to be marsh, is that right? Is that going to be marsh? That sounds good. Yeah, we can use, yeah, we can use this one right here for marsh. Okay. okay. Okay, so all right, so then uh, dicing for uh, for placement of our terrain features. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, all right, each feature is dice for it. it types features can be selected depending on the terrain which is depending on armies historically normally fought at home. Each feature is dice for a score of one to four. Direction it must be placed within that quarter. So uh, we'll have to number the quarters of the table. So this is like one, two, three, and four. Uh, a score of five directs that the quarter is chosen by the defender. A score of six directs that the, the quarter is chosen by the invader. The, that was just me. Area features other than plow or gentle hills must be placed entirely within that quarter. 
Um, all right, so unless you're part of any dental hill. Okay, so we don't have any dental hills. We don't have any plow because this particular quote unquote plow feature is going to represent marsh. Um, and a feature that cannot be placed is discarded. Um, there must be a gap of at least one base width. That's these measurements right here. Okay, that's five base widths long. So there has to be at least a, a distance of five of one base width between terrain features in order for it to be, be placed. Okay. Uh, all right. There must be a gap. Okay. Um, there must be a gap of at least one base width between area features and between an area feature other than a built-up area and any battlefield edge. So the other these three terrain features have to be at least one base width from the edge, but the fortress can be right up against the edge if you want. Okay, but again, it would have to be entirely within one quarter. So, which one do you want to dice for first? Probably the fortress, because you want to make sure that one gets gets on there, right? All right. So, uh, roll a die. Let's see uh, what quarter it's in. Four. Four. All right. So one, two, three, four. So that is going to go in that quarter. My choice. Your choice. Yes. Okay. That's that's pretty good. All right. So, uh, what do you want next? The the marsh, the hill, or the scrub? Marsh. Marsh. Okay, so where is this going to go? Roll. Okay. One, two, three. So it's going to go Perfect. somewhere here. Where do you want to go? You choose. All right. No, no, you choose. Yeah, just it has to be within that quarter, though. So that's all right. That looks good. All right. So what's next? The hill or the, or the scrub area? Uh, the hill. The hill. All right. Okay. One, two, three. So the hill would have to go somewhere in this one if we, if we can fit it. Okay, remembering that we have to keep at least one base width between that and the edge of the board. Okay. Let's see. One between here yeah, and there? It's, it, well, yeah, that's not going to work right there. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, that would work there, but then you're getting closer there. I this work moving over. Well, I don't think it's going to have much effect except just. Yeah. We'll leave it there. All right. And then what about the scrub? What, what quarter? Roll die. Okay. One. So the scrub goes somewhere in your purview. All right. Okay. That was actually originally like it's supposed to be a built up area, as you can see, like a little cobblestone road. But... Okay. Actually, that's going to need to go a little closer to that because I think you're still in this quarter. All right. There's your, uh, your camp somewhere along your edge. Okay, my choice? Yes. Let's see. How does the camp affect things? Do I have to go out and around? No, no, no. Well, you, basically, your, your, your camp is going to be there, uh, which you would uh, you put a camp follower there or one of your elements to protect it. Okay. Um, it should be against your, uh, against your, your base edge there. All right, that's fine. And I'll just put mine there. All right. So then you go ahead and you'll deploy your troops. Now, uh, what you want to do is um, you can deploy your troops up to uh, let me get to the diagram here. Up to uh, four base widths on the edge. I don't think it's on that reference card right there. Okay. Deployment. All right. So um, Okay, all non-garrison troops must deploy at least three base widths from the battlefield center line. So at least three base widths from the battlefield center line. Um, and one base width from any enemy city or fort. Okay, well that's your that's in your territory, so that's your fort. If you wanted to, you could place you could place one element in there. Okay. And actually, yeah, if you have a camp, you don't uh, or if you have a city in your territory, you don't have to use a camp. This would be your camp. Okay. You can't. And so you could put um, you can put a, uh, a single element in there if you want. Right. And then uh, basically, uh, cavalry, light horse, and cavalry mounted infantry, auxiliary or satellite must deploy at least two base widths on the battlefield edges and then others at least four base widths away. So actually, the center line, which is right about here, I think, you can deploy within three base widths of that. Oh, okay. So, yeah, not your base head, but you have to, uh, so you can deploy up to there. Right. And it has to be okay. at least one base between us? No, 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 no. Yeah, when you deploy your army, your your bases can be touching. In fact, that's usually the way you want to start, because 
that would give you uh, that would give you the ability to move on one pip, okay. rather than several. You said four on this one. And on this one, yeah, it's three base widths blind. Yeah, no, the, the four base widths is that's from the side edges. So in other words, within four base widths, I can't just put my my warriors in there. They have to be at least this far away. Oh, okay. If you have skirmishers like like this guy with with two two figures on it, he can be as close as two base widths to the edge. But no closer. But everybody else is then squeezed within, you know, four base widths from the the two side edges. Okay. Okay. They're trying to get the kind of the edge of the world syndrome. What's the spacing back to front? Um, well, you can you can be touching uh, uh, front to back, but um, yeah. So probably your you know your your cavalry can maneuver on their own, but uh, the foot might uh, you might very well want to put them back to back because rear rank support. Um, let's see, pikes versus foot. That's one. Okay, pikes versus knights. Warband versus foot. So you guys are all warband. So they fight well in two ranks. Because they have they have depths they can okay I think that guy's spacing all the way down okay. yeah just turn around there you go nice my leader should be okay yeah and he's in a separate unit correct uh well no he's um that's just another warband element but uh, he's got the it contains the general. And so he can actually uh, he can actually get a bonus when he's fighting. So, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set the see. I have an option for what I want for my last unit here. So I'm gonna set those guys aside. I'm gonna have a war band, one war band, and I'm gonna have. Fast blades here. All right, so then my turn. I'm gonna put the the Catan figure in my oh. kit. Isn't that awesome? I I threatened to do it after we were playing Settlers of Catan with my Art Expert neighbors, uh -huh. and uh, and uh, you know I saw that the shield on the back of the resource cards, and I have. Mm, that yeah, looks like a and plus, you, then you, you look at the knight cards, and they look just like Vikings. Mm -hmm. so, Does he play uh, anything like this? Uh, not like this, no. But uh, our next door neighbor, uh, Paul, uh, Paul uh, Aubie, likes to um, likes to play Catan. He's nuts about it, and um, so we've been playing lots and lots of Catans. In fact, um, when you were suggesting playing, uh, was it uh, Saturday night? Yeah. We were we were actually planning to to play it. Uh, we were thinking that we were going to get an invitation from our next door neighbors, but then when we finally got it, um, Susan had a headache, and I just sat down to eat. But um, we we we've started playing. Um, what is it? Uh, Cities and Knights. Have you played that one? Yeah. That expansion. Yeah, Cities and Knights for. No, no. Cities and Knights is oh, for uh, is for settlers of Catan, yeah. and it basically has uh, this board that goes on the side of the Catan board. With a little token that represents the Viking ship that's approaching Catan, and when it lands, then you see if the Vikings sack Catan and like destroy one of the cities. Oh, that sounds. Or, cool. you know, they they don't destroy it outright. They they reduce it from a city to a settlement. Right. And um and uh, but to to defend against that, you have to raise knights and you have to basically pay to support them. Right. And there can be some internecine warfare between the different powers on Catan. Like you can push the knights off, you know, hex uh, intersections where you want to build. Yeah. And um, you can so you can do that. I the seafarers most. Seafarers is awesome, and we love that one too. So. It's it's unfortunate we're gonna have eight people here Saturday night, which kind of uh, is a little bit too yeah, much. Yeah, a little too much. Yeah, because the sweet spot for Catan is really four players. I think. That's that's the best. Okay, I am going to. How many people can fit in here? Um, just one, yeah. So even though it looks bigger in there, um, any kind of built very can uh, handle one foot unit. 
So, um, thank, yeah, I, I have to push my guys off. All right. Um, okay. So, actually, when we uh, when we will begin, I believe it's the defender who goes first. So, um, all right. So, what you'll do is you'll roll a die, and that is your hit allotment for the. Wow. For, all right. So, all right, just a recap on the, the terrain features then. Uh, you said this was going to be a rough hill, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Difficult. All right, so difficult, steep and rocky, scrubbed hills. Uh, woods, marsh, and gully are bad going, which slows the movement of and has adverse combat type factor for some foot and all mounted and may hinder shooting. This right here is scrub. Um, yeah, rocky, scrubby, or boggy, flat ground. Uh, okay, so I think you did request, this was boggy, right? right. Yeah, yeah, because it's boggy, it's not marsh. So boggy and scrub is what's called rough going, which reduces move distances, but is not a tactical factor and does not affect shooting. So we can actually, you know, if we had anybody who could shoot, really, we could shoot through this and this. Uh, this should really be like just lichen or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but I uh, need to bring better terrain next time. But uh, but this basically just slows moving. This right here, if anybody's defending in it, uh, is or, or anybody's fighting in it, would be fighting an adverse tactical factor. Um, but, uh, okay. So, all right. So if you want, you can designate uh, probably the guy, the the cavalry that's in front, it would have to move before the guys in the back can go. So if you look on the back of your your sheet here, uh, I don't know if you if you might want to get like a page check like this, but um, cavalry, if you look at this, um, cavalry, light cavalry, um, gives you your tactical factors versus foot and versus mounted. There's plus three versus everything. Um, and that gives you your, uh, the, the results. Now the move, if you look all the way on the outside, has a four and then a one. So it's four in good going and it's one, one base width in other good going. So in other words, they can go four base widths, one, two, three, four straight ahead. How does turning work? Uh, turning works. Uh, you can wheel, uh, basically measuring from the outside of the wheel. Right. Uh, so if you need to do that, you can, and you can do it in the middle of the move. You know, it's not like drums and shakos or anything where you have to go in a straight line all the time. So I get four, right? Right. You have four middle. So yes. Yeah. There you go. So is are my bases too short? Uh, no, no. I think your, your bases are fine. Okay. And then I go by this number, not the base itself, right? Uh, right, right, yeah. Because well, because see, the thing is, this right here is a base width. See. Ah, uh, okay. So that's that's what that is. So if you're measuring, you know, this is five base widths long. So actually, if you line this up here to the front of the base, then four base widths is one, two, three, four to the front of the stick. Okay. So this yeah. is going to be one, two, wheel. Okay. And and they just, measure from the outside. Yeah, right? measure from the outside, yeah. It's going to come back quick. Three, four. Okay. Imagine what little six I'm getting. Right. <laughs> but you've only got two units. Uh, right, right. Yeah. It, 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 and the, the thing about DBA is that, that you think of them as bodies of troops. So um, they're just elements of the army. They're not units. They're not cohorts or anything like that. Because once they start breaking up, is when the problems occur. That's right. Because then you always have too few um, tips. Good. Life is good. Yes. All right. So now these guys right here, these are all uh, they're these, they're all fast warband except oh. for the commander who is solid warband. So, so he's the yeah he's got four actually he's got four figures on that stand. Okay. Um, so he's a solid warband. So. Uh, I look for war bands. It's all alphabetical. Let's see, solid is four and fast is three. So if I go with solid all the way across, his move allowance is two. So all he can do is just go straight ahead. And how close do you have to be before combat? Uh, we have to be touching, actually. Okay, and so actually, what I've got you in here is um, these guys will have to do one of two things. Wheel back. They're going to have to well, they're going to have to go straight back, and that will be a single element moves. Right. Or turn to to line up 
parallel to me or move to contact. Okay. So one of the two. Okay, that's one and then two. Now these guys are fast war bands, so they can actually move a little faster. They're fast war band down at the very bottom yep. are three and three. So in good or bad going, they can go three base hits. I'm going to borrow this. There'll be two base widths to move there. Okay. All right, your move. Six. Six. All right. So, uh, let's see. I cannot wheel past it. Apparently. Right, so you can't just go straight past me because you are now within one base width of me. Oh, okay. So we'll go ahead and go backwards. Okay, so there'll be one move for each of these guys. and But they can go back their full movement allowance. Since they're, cause, so going backwards, it, the only way you can do that is by single element moves. Okay. But uh, cavalry can still go four base widths, and so you can you can move them straight back. Just go one. back one, two, three, four. If, That's, I wanted to. if you wanted to, yeah. Okay. And actually, this guy right here, yeah. So he he would have to move. The guy to his uh, to his left though is outside the the is outside the the. the Zone of patrol, so he, or which is, uh, so he can actually continue moving across this way, just as so long as he doesn't enter one base with him. Ah, okay. So this guy right here is, is the one who's in trouble. He has to go straight back to get out of it. Okay. And, you know, he and he he doesn't have to go that far to get out of it. So if that's if that's all it takes, he can stop there or he can keep going if he wants. Right. But the straight back move is all he can do this turn. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Okay, well, if you're doing a single element move, you can pretty much uh, just measure from the furthest corner and, and just move more. You, need to, you don't have to worry about being kind of wheel or anything like that. Okay. Now, he went back one. Okay, but what I'm saying is he started the, the move in oh, okay. control, so the only thing he can do is move straight back. Okay, so that's, that's that's all he can do. But he can go back sure. as far as, as you want to. Mm -hmm. move okay. So does that count as two moves? That's, that counts as two as well. Yes, I, I made that one a little fancy. Bow measurement and artillery measurement. Are these uh, fast warbands? Mm -hmm. uh, no, those are solid warband because they have four. Yeah, okay, I see how it works. And we're moving two. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, my guys are not warbands, they're blades. But they're, okay. they're just fast blades. So it's the same. It's the same uh, movement. While you're doing that, I'm going to take a picture. Who do you think you are? <laughs> it's two. Get the flank support in the building. Yeah. So, uh, yes, you see your range on these. Uh, okay, now, Saloy, yeah, the, the thing is, Saloy are, they don't have any, any shooting range. Okay. To to have any effect attacking, they would, they, you actually put them in contact, which looks kind of so, so, kind of funny, but what it represents is the slingers getting up as close as they can, plants their slings. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the combat results, 
against most troop types, they're able to get away. So even if they lose badly, the worst that happens to them is they flee. So there's no if real point in being inside. Either. Well, no, there is because um, by well, having something inside there, that means that I have to either attack it when I get within one base width, yep. or I have to leave some guys behind and, and skirt this thing. Okay. And it's just kind of fun to play with it. So. All right. And I think I'm done. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. So let me go ahead and roll for my pips. Four. Okay. So again, fast blades. Blades fast. Has a rate of uh, moving allowance of three. But again, when I get up here, I'm going to have to stop short because you're you're occupying that uh, village or the fortress. All right. So. Let's give me one, and maybe that far. Hopefully our internet fans can handle the speaking. Yeah. Okay, and now this uh, right here is going to be my fast blades, even in bad going at the L3, and I'm going to have them do individual moves to move one. Wow. Two, it's not even slow down, three. Right? No, because they're fast blades. Because uh, they're just raiders. So that's my four four pips. Okay. One for that, and then these are single element moves, so that's four. So you remove. Two. Two. Okay. So the horse is coming back. Okay. So you can come back two. One, two. Okay. And come back three. And then the wheel. That's one. And then three, three. We should be in line perfectly with the other guys. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's my two. Alrighty. So Oh Lord. Yeah. Four cabins. Yeah, well we'll see we'll see how they do. Um, Alright. Five. Oh, that's not good. Alright. Uh okay, so all right now to to make flank contact, I have to start um uh, outside of these vertical lines here and I have to be able to make contact with my front corner to your front corner. So in in order to do that I have to do this by single element moves. So that's gonna be one, two, and this guy three. Okay now don't worry because actually this guy is gonna have uh, to respond by turning around. So that was three Four. And five. Two words. Four just a little bit. Three. Oops. Those one, two, three, four, and then yeah. So you got the got the real look in there with the Figures in front of me. Yeah. Yeah, which is okay. And I'm going to move the uh, fast warband into the scrum here. Okay. It's the nice thing about being fast. But then the bad part is if they lose ties versus uh, solid troops, they bounce back. Okay, so at the end of movement, then. This unit here, which is contacted to the side, right. no reason in front, so he turns to face. Okay. All right. So, I can't uh, All right. So let's, let's take a look at our combat factors. Uh, so actually, look at the, this sheet. Uh, let's look at the yeah, let's look at the side you're looking at first. So you are cav, right? So your cavalry, yes. and if you look to just to the right of where it says cavalry, is plus versus foot, plus versus mounted. It's three versus either one. Okay. 
Okay, and then to the right of that, you're going to see the results if you happen to lose. Um, I am blades fast. So if you go up to where blades are, uh, solid or fast versus foot, it's five or four versus shooting. But versus mounted, I'm only three. Okay, so we're three to three so far. Got it? Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the other sheet, and then we'll look at tactical factors. Um, so we don't have any rear rank support. Flank support um, is is only for um, a solid foot, and I don't have any solid foot here, so I don't get any of that. Okay. Uh, but under tactical factors, you have you have some uh, some that are that are kind of interesting here. So the one that's actually halfway down the table there says each flank overlapped or contacted page 10 um, or not light horse cavalry stationary with unsupported rear front corner within one base with the tail edge and good going. All right, so you're actually overlapped on this flank right here because you don't, basically I'm in side corner contact with this guy and there's nobody in front of him. So he's basically supporting this guy. Okay. Okay, so that what that is, that's a minus one to you. So you are three, you are basically down to a two, right? So it's your die roll plus a two versus my die roll plus a three. So six plus two. Okay, so four six. plus two is six. Three plus three is six. So we what happened? We tied. All right. So then we look at this. So um, blades fast. Uh, if it's equal, it says recoil by solid foot. Okay, but that's what the F is. All right, but you're not foot, so I don't recoil. But then we look at cavalry, and cavalry, it says um, recoiled by solid foot in close combat, else and E, right. which is no effect. So we're basically locked in combat. Nothing happens because we tie each other. Okay. Okay? So it's your turn. You're moved. Five. Five. Yeah, so those guys can go... Two base with straight forward. Right? Two? Two, yeah. So we can get the contact. I believe so, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right, and then what happens then is you uh, to to line up corner to corner. Uh, you one of us has to shift. Now I'm the stationary group, right. and you're the moving group. So your group actually shifts. And actually, it looks like you could probably even shift either way. So which way do you? I mean, if you shift this way, these guys are going to be in bad going. Um, Let's shift this way. Yeah. How much do I have to shift? Uh, basically, until your guys are corner to corner right. with mine. Okay. And I know this, this guy's shield is. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Should I swap one into the other? Um, if if you want, just because this guy. Because I'm not basing. Well, this this guy is the general, isn't he? With the, the cape. No, this guy. Right oh, that guy there. Okay. The red cape. Yeah, the red cape. All right. So is it like that? Yep. Okay. All right. All right. Was he, he was part of the group there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so we have a lot of stuff going on there. Yeah, let's get some pictures of that. Yeah, absolutely, that's a that's like a, it's a dark full of energy. Yeah. Did you see my berserkers? Uh, where are they? These guys right here. Oh yeah. I just slap my wee wee at you. I pop in the old general direction. Yeah, let me get it from this side here too. Yeah. Yeah, switch sides for pictures. The castle looks so nice. Oh, nice. Good attribute should do. Yes. Let's see how strong this microphone is. Susan. Order this for me. I think it was like maybe five or six bucks. Huh? That's fantastic. You can rotate it. That's cool. You can stand there too. Yeah. Amazon or there's a good Yeah, it's got from Amazon. Are you close in pain? Uh no, well, actually that makes a makes a lot of sense. Yeah. 
our uh, choir director is a huge Clemson fan. So, all right, it is your turn. So you get to decide where we we fight first. Um, okay. Well, may I make a suggestion though that we start here because here you have the advantage of the overlap. Okay. Okay. Right. And if I break your line, right. Unless your retreat path is sort of blocked. Right. 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 That, what'll happen is these guys will just retreat up to there, and then you'll follow up. So, uh, okay. So. Let's go. Let's take a look at your combat factors. So you are warband solid, okay. And if you look on down here, you'll see that so are all these guys warband solid? They're all warband solid. Everybody, including, including the general. Play? Not at all. Okay. Not at all. So here you're looking at the thing about DDA is um, they were looking more. The designer was looking more for uh, how the troops were used rather than what weapon they were holding in their hand. So. Um, you know, these guys were, were all about the, the initial charge and, and maybe following, including uh, missile weapons being thrown and trying to get that initial shock. Whereas opposed to um, the way these guys were more into their fencing weapons and whatnot. So, uh, all right, so you have, uh, you are warband and solid. Yep. You, you're plus three versus foot, okay? And then I am blades fast. All right, and so versus foot, I'm five. That slash four there is versus shooting. Okay. But this is combat, so I'm a five. Okay. But then we go over to the other side, and again, uh, with the with the flank overlapped, I'm a minus one because of that. Now the other thing is second rank support, close combat, and both ranks are in good going, which you are. Warband versus foot, that is that's not satellite. You get a plus one. Okay. So you're plus three. You get a plus one. You're a plus four. I'm a plus five, but I'm overlap, so I'm a plus four. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll them. Six. Six plus four is ten. One plus four is five. It's uh, you double me, and so blades fast. Um, if we were equal, recoil by solid foot. Uh, here it says less than. Uh, it says destroyed by warband or by night side chariot and good going, or if I'm double, I'm destroyed. So this element right here is simply destroyed. Wow. Okay, so that's one one element destroyed. Uh, then there's also a follow-up here. So uh, see, where does it say that actually? Yeah, warband. See, see where the, there's a little uh, uh, cross symbol down where warband. It looks like a dagger. Yeah. Dagger symbol. Okay, the note down there says pursue foot except soloi one half base width in close combat. So you pursue awesome. up to this depth right here, okay? And see now that you press, you can press the advantage by now attacking here. So I get another plus one. All right. So then you get well, you get another plus one for this guy supporting, but I'm also overlap now on this side because the guy, my friends to, the, to my left, have been destroyed. So uh, plus five, minus one, I'm on plus four. You're plus three supporting right. You're plus four. Okay. Plus four to plus four. Four to four is eight. All right. So actually, we tied on this one. Uh, all right. So warband solid. If we tie, there's no effect. But I am blades fast, recoiled by solid foot. So I'm not destroyed, but I am by a new recoil. Okay. And now the other thing is because I fell back, you pursue. Yeah, all right. This, yeah, this whole, this whole, in the sporting rank there. Okay, the the general back there was not supporting, so he's, he's not included. Okay. All right, so now we get to, to my general. Um, it's um, my general is now blades solid or solid blade. I'm, I'm a five. I'm overlapped. I'm a four. But uh, and then you're the usual three plus one for supporting rank. You're a four, but now you're overlapped on here, so you're down to a three again. Okay. All right, so I was a, a five or left on a four, but hold on. Uh, then for tactical factors, the general's element in close counter being shot at is a plus one. Okay. So I go back to up to a plus five. Plus five to plus three. Five. Oh, eight to a four. You double me. You destroyed my general. And so then you. You know, I always feel bad when yeah. something like that happens to me. <laughs> no, don't feel bad. Nice. All right. So then you, you, well, see, I should have brought my own dice. That's, that's all there is to it. Um, okay, so let's and let's finish up on this one over here. Uh, you're plus three, overlap, you're plus two, and I am plus uh, three. Plus three to plus two. Five. 
Five plus three is eight to seven. All right, so I beat you by one. Cavalry that are beaten but not um, but not just, uh, doubled. Flee from side chariots or if in bad going, else recoil. So you would recoil this far, and then I would follow up uh, half base width. So you you could actually follow up your you could actually fall back your base depth or a full base width, whichever you prefer. Okay. Uh, I don't think you're going to get all the way to a full base depth though, because the town is in, in the way. Right. Okay. But even pursuing, I can't even get into full contact with you. Okay. All right. So that's what we've done so far. This um, you know, this turn. I've lost two units or two elements rather. So, uh, let me just look at the winning and losing the battle. Um, the first side at the end of any battle has lost a total of four elements, not including side chariots, forage, camp powers, or denizens, and has also lost more such elements than the enemy has lost the battle. The first double element it counts as two. A general lost during the battle counts as one extra element. Okay, so. This el there's two elements destroyed, but one of them is a general, so I've actually lost three elements. Okay, th these are my extra options, which I decided not to use. So I've lost three elements. Basically, if I lose one more, I lose, I lose the battle. Okay. Um, okay, so it's my turn. Let me go ahead and roll them. All right, now here's the thing. is Since my general has been destroyed, I've got nobody giving the orders, so everything is going to cost an extra pip okay. just to move people. So... This is going to cost. Yeah, I think these, these should be lined up here, actually. But yeah, that'll be two, and this will be two more. So that is. It. So I can cross him to get him in the middle of that position because I'm lined up. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's four. I've only got one more. I can't do anything else. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start over here where I have at least some kind of advantage. So you are plus three, supporting rank, you're plus four, but then your overlap, so you're down to a plus three. Okay. And I am plus five. Okay. All right. So your three plus three is a six. Right. I'm a five plus five. I'm a ten. So mm -hmm. ten to six. It's not doubled, but warband solid. Doubled less than you're destroyed by knights of side chariots. If in, in good going, else you recoil. So these guys have to recoil the base width or base depth rather. I guess they call it a half base width. Is what it is. And blades, believe it or not, follow up. All right, so then this guy right here is plus five, but he's overlapped over here, so he's down to a plus four. You are plus three, plus three supporting rank plus four, but then you're overlapped over here, so you're plus three. Plus two? Plus oh, three. Sorry. Four and three, okay. Right, so you're, five, you're, five, you're plus three. Four plus three seven. is seven, and I'm four plus four, I'm an eight. So I beat you there. This guy recoils as well, pushing back his friends. Very nice. There we go. All right, so now it is your turn. Five. Five. All right, so you can kind of do some interesting things here. And... Two. One. Okay. Two. Okay. Yes. And I want a four, five. Okay, that's fine. I'm not sure what benefit that gives me right now unless he's destroyed. Never. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, if you don't mind, I'll yeah. take that back. Yeah, yeah. Would yeah. that be one? Or then I've got one. Yeah, there. one, two, three, four, you know. Yeah, we'll just. Yeah. Okay, you have one more. I would recommend getting this guy out of the way just because if this guy, yeah, okay. if this guy has to recoil now, yeah. he can only push back one element with three, two elements behind him. He would be destroyed if he loses. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, where do you want to begin? Um, let's start here. Okay, so I'm blades fast versus uh, versus cavalry. I'm plus three versus foot versus cav. You're plus three versus foot. So three to three. One. <laughs> <laughs> we're tied again. So nothing happens. We, we're stuck. All right. What's next? Uh, this one right here. 
Let's, uh, let's do this one here. This one here? Yeah. Okay. So you are plus three. Supporting rank, you're plus four. I'm plus five. Overlapped here, I'm a plus four. So four to four. Three plus four is seven. Five plus four is nine. Well, actually, remember, blades fast. If they are less than it, solid or fast, if blades are less than, they are destroyed by warband or by night side chariot and good going. So this guy is actually destroyed, and okay. you follow up. That was the game, right? And that's basically the game. But we, we'll just finish out the rest of the combats here. Okay. Okay. And then we have to. All right. So who's next? Who's the next victim? Uh, this guy. Okay. All right. So again, you're plus four with the supporting rank. I'm plus five. Overlapped on two sides. I'm a plus three. Three plus three is six, but three plus four is seven. He's destroyed. And they follow up. All right. Who's next? Yep. Okay. So you are plus um, plus three versus foot. I'm plus five, but I'm over left. So I'm plus four. Six plus four is ten. Three plus four. Three plus four is no. You're three plus three because you don't have a supporting rank here. This guy. This guy is a minus to me. Uh, but okay. he's, yeah, but he okay. doesn't give you a plus. So you're you're a six. Three plus three is six. I'm a six plus four because the overlap. So I'm a 10. 10 to 6, I beat you, uh, but the worst thing that happens to you is you fall back, and then I just follow up. I, just, I would be dead meat next turn. Um, how about over there? All right, so now, there's no negative combat attacker for you, but I'm not in good going. But uh, I am warband fast, so I am plus 2 versus mount. I'm down here. Right. Plus 2 versus mount, and you are cav versus anything, so you're plus 3. Plus 3 to plus 2. Okay, so your 1 plus 3 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, so I beat you, but I didn't double you, so your cavalry, right here, uh, if you're less than, flee from side chariots, orphan, bad going, else recoil. So you're not you're not facing side chariots, and you're not in bad going, you're just in rough going, so just recoil, a full base of death. And I go uh, pursuing, actually, is that right? Uh, pursue, oh, pursue foot. In close combat, so I'm not. I'm not going to be pursuing against cavalry. Okay. All right. And uh, all right. So who's who's next? I think we've got this guy right here, right? Yeah. Okay. So he's plus five. Overlapped here. He's a plus four. So you're plus four. Two, two plus four, six. Six to five. He's destroyed as well. So we'll take your strand by half the army, Charles. All right. <laughs> Over here. Uh, oh wait. I think this we resolved this one, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. 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 So I, I think that's it. I think we I think we might have started with this one. That it was a push, or or was that last turn? Oh, that was a push. That was a push. Yeah. We did this one already. Yeah. And we've yeah. done we've done all the rest of these. So very well done. I mean, warband versus blades is just killer. Yeah. And I was really worried about taking on the Vikings, but with yeah. this terrain here supporting my sides, yeah. and you you had yeah. to separate. Yeah, really, because I think that the the advantage of fast blades, and which I did not really take advantage of, is that they can well that they're fast. That yep. that I probably should have had like two wings and then tried to envelop you uh, on the flanks, you know. Right, right. And even in back going like this, they still go full speed. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't really make uh, the best use out of my my abilities here. And then one thing uh, that happened here mm -hmm. with that cavalry, I was mm -hmm. like. I can try to fight this and keep pressing forward, or I can just keep mm -hmm. stepping forward into my benefit here. Right. And I split them apart, and I'm, I'm surprised that I didn't lose this guy. But by me having this on my side, you couldn't mm -hmm. flank me even. Like, the only thing I had to do is not go forward mm -hmm. uh, and let yeah. you come to me. Yeah. I shouldn't tell you all my strategies. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> <laughs> but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. I like yeah. this mat. I was like, at Is first, nice? I looked at it, I was like, I'm not sure if the green is, but then, you know, I yeah. think about like the Vikings and the grassy yeah. uh, plains yeah. and stuff like that. Like, and I guess if you want to get fancy, you, know, you can put hills underneath. Yeah. And, and the but, yeah. but, um, oh, all right. Well, you want to try the same thing? Or? Sure. Okay. So, all right. I'll use oops, a similar group. I think this time I'm going to try a bow unit, the bow option. 